Hello guys, Crafty here, and today I'm bringing you more Magic 2014. This is going to be my sealed deck campaign series, on, not to be confused with my single player campaign series, where I take the sealed deck that I previously built, my blue, black, white, and I take it through sealed campaign to get more cards in order to hopefully make the deck a lot better than it actually is, because right now I think it actually sucks. Uh, we'll see. I haven't tested it against the the test deck up top, but um, what I don't like about the seal campaign is that the people you face, sealed is supposed to be you get cards, you put them together with the, the best that you have. That's a pretty decent start, I think. Two scroll thieves, that's about as best as I could hope for. Um, we're going to keep this hand, see how it works, because the, the deck is really untested. But what I really don't like about sealed is the pre-generated decks are just that they're pre-generated um they're not what you have to deal with i mean you have to do the best with what you draw these guys they get their own color which is powerful enough as it is in a sealed deck having a mono color you got to be kidding me um but um yeah just facing these guys with a deck that you have to mash together is not really fair in my opinion uh i think we'll toss out an elixir here just to be I don't know, whatever, because I can't do anything else. But, um, you know, it's, it's a nice little backup card because you can gain five life and put your graveyard back into your library if you, uh, if you run a pretty heavy control deck, which I do. <clears throat> but um, pretty much what I'm going to be banking on is her having... Discard a card? Okay. Um, I'll discard a scroll thief because, you know flying flying and I could probably clone one of my bats <laughs> if I really wanted to um what do we want to do here um I say let's throw down a scroll thief because um, he's not gonna be he's not gonna want to swing and if I swing he's gonna want to try to block it because if not I draw a card but uh, she could put out a pretty beefy creature here probably um I don't have any of my control at the moment. There's a Bloodhunter Bat. Okay. So I'm pretty much dead on land at the moment. Ouch. Okay. Oh, well, this is a problem. Um. See if I swing, they'll push, which means he won't kill him and he won't kill him. So it's kind of pointless for me to attack right there. Um. If he swings with a bat, I'm going to want to block it. Nope, he doesn't. That's a good play. Ouch. Okay, the longer this goes on, the more trouble I'm going to be in. I at least want another land for a clone, because I want to clone that. Um, I want to clone this. Yeah. I can't get my black out, unfortunately. Um... No. Dang, man. This is bad. This is very bad. Not looking too good. She's probably got some sort of combat trick up her sleeve, but I'm going to try to block that anyway. Good. That's a good trade. See, this, this is why I hate sealed. This is why I hate facing these decks in sealed because of this crap right here it's it's not fair it's not fair and I'm gonna I'm gonna restart because that's just that's crap that's just out and out bullshit right there draw a new hand can't even catch a blue here that's good enough Oh, let's see what we can do here. I got each one of my colors, so I'm pretty set. Ugh. I don't know, I'm not talking much because I'm just I'm upset with how this how this deck is built. I don't really have any other choices. I mean I, I could Okay. Guess we're dropping a bat. I'm kind of I'm kind of forced into 
forced into three colors. I mean, I could try to force a red something deck. Um, you know, Volcanic Geyser or whatever the hell it's called. But to make that deck work, because it's mostly double red, I would have to probably only do dual color. And that's going to be an issue. Oh, wow. Well, I can pitch another black. I can pitch that, because I have four land. It's pretty much all I need right now. Um, We're going to want to get him out. It's a good play. Hmm. I'm not really having any good options here. She's only stuck on two land. So I'm actually going to probably defeat her in a pretty pathetic way. Um, uh, yeah, let's bat here. Let's get that evasion. You lose two life, I gain two life. Uh, let's attack with him and tap you because that's his ability. When he attacks, he taps a creature on their side, which is good because she can't double block him to kill it. Pretty decent card. See, I really like... I don't know. I, I just... Wow. See, that's, that's, that's not the way you want to win. It's not the way you want to win. But, um... I'll take it. <laughs> um, you know... It is what it is. Not really a good test, but it gives me a free pack, so. Can't complain. Tap you out. And four. Oh, she has a chance to block. She won't. Four to the face. Bam. Uh, that's the that's the risk you run. Yeah, she's got three land now. She's going to play stuff. That'll do it. Uh, that'll slow me down a little bit. Oh, no, it won't, because I'll just tap it out. Seems like a pretty legit play. I'll just tap it out. Uh, swing, 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 swing. Tap out your Nighthawk. Now, he can double block him here, which is really dumb of me to do. Um, but... I draw a card. Another Bloodhunter bat. Hmm. That really wasn't the smartest thing for me to do. And you're killing the Scroll Thief. That's fine. You can't swing with him because he's going to lose him. Or she needs him back to defend. I just need to pull a... Um... See, I'm stuck. One card is keeping me from attacking. And it stinks. I hate it. Really don't like it. Now if I get far enough ahead in creatures, yeah, she's gonna cast another Nighthawk, I bet. Um... I'm gonna double block. Hmm. Clever dick. Clever dick. Well, that would be why you swung with it. I should have just let it go. Yeah, that was stupid of me. He was banking on me, blocking them both. That's really, really stupid of me. But technically, I guess the longer the game goes on, the better I am. Because she's just not drawing land. If I can tap him out, that'll work. Just swing with that. She's gonna have to block it. But, um, yeah, she's. There's a fourth. Okay. She's got options now. There's a blood on her bat. Ow. Uh, I'll take two cards. I'll take a frost breath. <laughs> I'll take a win. 
Swing. Pain flying because I feel like it. And that's that. Boom. See how frost breath see how frost breath works? <laughs> works pretty goddamn good, I think. Alright. Let's open this shit. <clears throat> Open that. Crack it. Crack it. Yeah. Ooh, passy. Pacifism will work. Train condor. Ooh, another divination. Okay. Um, I can probably start cutting my black here. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see if we can cut the black. Five black cards. I really like Bloodhunter Bat, but the less black we have, the better. Um, Because now I have a Divination. Another Trained Condor. We have a another Charging Griffin. Until end of turn, eh, it's not great, but, um, what do we got, 38? We got pacifism, that'll work wonders. And, what was the other card we pulled that I wanted to put in? It wasn't Harbor Serpent. No. Uh, when we face Jace, I'm going to put that in. <laughs> Flash and flying. It's a five drop. I'm not too keen on that. But let's fix our land. Nine and nine. That's interesting. Fiend Hunter's looking a little bit more palatable right now. Oh, no, we don't need it. Um, 18 lands? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's pull a white back. and see if we can force another scroll thief why not um yeah <laughs> according to this our deck's pretty awesome i don't know about that man but <laughs> that was the fight against liliana thank you guys for watching next up will be seal campaign against garuk thank you guys for watching bye bye